Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful hump day? So, like in yesterday's video, <clears throat> I explained to you we had to figure out what was exactly wrong with the uh, regular cab pickup truck. We're going to do that here in just a little bit. Called around to a couple places. I looked at it. I can't figure out exactly where it's coming from. Can't pinpoint it. Just me and TQ looking at it. So I called a couple shops. A couple told me two to three weeks before I could even get in. But uh, our buddy Noah has a mechanic that he works with closely. And he said he's willing to at least look at it, let me know if it's something that uh, you know could be catastrophic, which you know would stop us from using the truck. We have another snow event coming in, a pretty good sized one. Uh, or if it's something we can run or something we can fix real quick. Uh, you just never know. It's just squilling. Don't know if it's a bushing, a burying. Who knows? So let's uh, figure it out. guys here at brad's place trying to figure out we had her squilling a second ago we're just trying to pinpoint it when she gets warm she gets louder and louder like i know you can't probably hear it but you guys heard it in yesterday's video wheels got to come off i see the problem noah's driving it yeah it's a ford yeah <laughs> it's a ford <laughs> And he's got two Chevys sitting here right now. Okay. Hey, you're... that Chevy's good. That's a nail in the tire. And that one in there is just getting... Oh, so you got three. I do three, have three here. Three okay. Chevys here right now. <laughs> is that your tailgate? Oh, yep. Yeah, no. That... What'd you break on that one? Wiring. No taillights. Wiring. Yeah. It's always wiring. Yeah. Well, look at her. I mean, she's, she's old and Salt. she's tired. <laughs> hey, make sure I turn that air compressor off. Hope oh, it's junk. Now that looks like a real Ford right there. Tire off, getting repaired. <laughs> this guy's got so many cracks. It's unbelievable. You still drinking on that thing or is that another one? No, it's the same one. No, it's been like three hours, bud. Did you go sipping. home and take a nap? I'm just sipping on it. Did you get a nap in? No, I came over here. <laughs> oh. All right, all right. I put it in the snow and forgot about it. I thought you were that going home cold. and take a nap, though. You said nappy time. Later. Later? Later. It's looking like uh, an early morning tomorrow. 2 a.m. It looks like it starts. Hello? Hey, is my snow blower done? So we think it's the wheel bearing. So I'm gonna run it for now because we need it first thing in the morning. It's late in the afternoon. This is the only place I could get it into though, at least get it looked at to kind of diagnose it a little bit. But uh, I was gonna show you Brad's place here. He's had a brand new building built here. This is a 40 by 60. So kind of give you a rough idea of the size of ours. Ours is gonna be a 50 by 80. So just about 20 more feet longer, 10 more feet deep. 
This is cool though. Pretty much the same, same exact thing, same style, same concept. They're gonna be doing a concrete pad and everything in here right now. Got drains to put in. This is cool, man. Really cool. Heck yeah. Should ask him what his roof, how tall his roof was. Not real sure. I'll ask him if I get back up there and post it on here if I remember. All right, so just left Brad's place. Big thank you to him. Check this out. Just some mini horses just out here chilling in somebody's front yard. I'm assuming they probably got out. <laughs> they definitely got out of somebody's fence around here. Probably that farm down there. Been up for about an hour, hour and a half, getting some coffee in, checking a few different things, and uh, keeping an eye on the snow. We do have coverage right now, and it is still snowing. I know it's probably going to be hard to pick up through that window, but it's uh, it's like a really wet mixture at the moment. So we know our offices open up at seven. We got a salt pickup here in just a little bit, and then we're going to head out there. We haven't hit our trigger yet for the rest of the accounts, so we're going to go get our zero tolerance lots taken care of first. I know some of you might not know what a zero tolerance is. Zero tolerance is like shopping centers, uh, high foot traffic areas, office buildings, uh, any of that stuff where, you know, there's a lot of office people tend to have uh, shoes that don't have the perfect traction for walking on snow, high heels. So with zero tolerance, you got to clear them kind of as the storm goes. You don't want to get there too early, but you don't want to get there late. So it's kind of like finding that happy medium. So we're going to be heading out here shortly. Have some fun. I'm going to enjoy my coffee. Uh, getting loaded up here. TQ will be coming here in a minute as well. We're going to go through it today. I know some of you were wondering about that oil spot. That's not from this machine. We got the cardboard, it was already on it. I just grabbed it out of the dumpster. I know some of you are wondering why I don't let the machine warm up. It's a heated building, it's 70 degrees in here. You can see that machine's melting off.
All right, guys. So I just spent about half an hour clearing everything here for the employees to go in and out. It is hammering it down right now. We're probably, we're probably getting a, I'd say an inch probably every half an hour. So we're doing the best we can. That's all you can do. This stuff is wet and heavy. Working through it here. This is the, uh, the big deal. So semis have to be able to come in here and out. So I had to open this up real quick. We're, uh, we're stacking it. All right, we got a tow motor down here stuck. I gotta get them out real quick. All right, got the tow motor out. They were able to get to what they needed. Slippery. All right, back to work here. It is not stopped a bit. They said it was supposed to, but they lied. So, salt in here. I think it's getting stronger is basically they have to be able to get the semis in and out of here all day long give you a couple quick tips for gravel especially when it's loose like this it's not frozen we've been 60 plus degrees here up until this past week when winter decided to come push slow try to raise your blade up just an inch or two above the snow and uh, push as best you can it's inevitable you're gonna push some gravel at least until it freezes and then if you happen to get any like spots that are real bad, level your blade out like a straight blade and back drag it. Fill that gravel spot back in. Once it freezes, it'll help you out a ton. So Plowing gravel is frustrating, guys. I'll be real. Gravel's slower, but we have a massive company here that we take care of. So if they want us to plow gravel, we'll plow gravel. It's a good all year round count, landscaping, snow removal, lawn care. <laughs> so these here that are open here and over there, that's how they inspect what's inside of them. Make sure everything's strapped down properly before they hit the road. So they have to be cleared as well. All right, guys, so it's starting to change over. We're getting a mixture of snow and ice, sleet, whatever you want to call it.
We don't usually shovel this one. So like I said, we don't usually shovel this one. They take care of it themselves, but I don't know if everybody's in here right now. So. Here's like a fine sheet of ice on everything. So there's a big old wind wind drift up against that back door, so I wanted to clear it off for him. Not something that's required of us, but we're here. We can take care of it. All right, filling up both trucks. Going through the salt today. Let's see what TQ's got. This storm is going to be insane because right now we're going up in temperature. So we started out about 27, 28 degrees this morning. It's 32 now. It's still snowing like crazy, but by like three o'clock this afternoon, this is supposed to transition over and they're actually calling for three inches of rain this afternoon into the this evening. And then the temperatures are going to plummet once again tonight. So, uh, Using the GoPro here, 75 in mine. I have still had probably close to a half a tank. So yeah, this storm is going, I mean, it's a mess, but it is gonna turn into something like we haven't seen in a minute. Guess I need a receipt and get TQs. What did she pay? 97, man, she was real, real low. She had about three gallons left or so. We're, uh, the biggest thing with these storms, guys, is it's easy to get overwhelmed. I've been there before, and uh, you just gotta work your way through it, get through it as fast as possible, as safe as possible, and uh, that's really all you can do. the last one we were on um, it's a gravel parking lot we don't put salt down on that one um, and then I'm just heading over to the next one here so this is that small parking lot it's literally just this area here um, they don't use the docks so they said just push the snow down in there instead of pushing it up against the um, the bushes there Tight. They told you they want it down in there? Yeah, they just said push it down in there because they don't use those docks. <laughs> and if these were open open these big gates here 
all right so going through now and just cleaning up what we couldn't get too early this morning honestly just a lot of heavy heavy slush seen a little bit i'm here love you oh you're here yeah oh there you go all right love you bye love you bye all right tq's here she went and got another load of salt so how's the storm going for you tq it's good it's going great this was a pretty decent storm guys i'll be honest with you it's had a lot of different elements the best element of this storm was we were able to sleep most of the night. We got yeah. up about four o'clock and got rocking and rolling. Typically we're up about two, three and yeah. We but, went to bed pretty early last night, so we're well rested and yeah, getting through it. Yeah, this morning it got a little hectic there for a minute. I'll be honest with you, just because it like, it came down all yeah. of a sudden, all at once. Like it was, it was pretty intense, but we got it under control real quick. And it's really, you just don't want to let employees and companies down, you know, you don't want them to stop working because if they stop working, this costs companies a lot, a lot of money. Yes. So we've got some tow motors unstuck this morning early, uh, got some semis in early. So nothing got held up for too long and uh, things were able to keep rolling. So I'm extremely happy and yeah, everything's been holding together just other than the truck squeaky squeaky. And <laughs> yeah, how'd everything else go for you? Good? It went good. Everything like no problem whatsoever there was one parking lot where we couldn't get in just yet because there were it's a smaller parking lot and there's a lot of um, cars parked in there so we'll have to wait a little bit later and get hit that one but yeah same with this one we'll have to come back once yeah. the afternoon morning shift guys get out of here and gals get out of here uh, we'll come in and we'll be able to clean up what we can i did have to unclog a few drains it has some debris on them uh just allow it to, to melt off as it can but uh yeah, I'm happy. You ready to get on to the next one? Yeah, let's just button it up and get on going. That rain's here now. We just got home a little bit ago. We're going to let this do its thing for a little bit as the temperature starts to drop back off because it got really warm throughout the day. We'll uh, see what's needed and get a little rest and get back out here and do what needs to be done. So hope you enjoyed today's video. We are extremely tired. As always, keep plowing, keep salting, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQL, peace. Bye-bye.